hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper I'm a full-time reseller and today I'm going to share with you the third in a series of brooch videos so we have done them from 1000 up to 2000 I've also done one for brooches that sell for over 2000 so today what I'm going to show you is brooches that sell for 550 up to a thousand and we're gonna get started right now. All right, so a lot of these pieces or the names are going to be repetitious, not the actual pieces. And that's because these high dollar designers have pieces that range anywhere from 40 to 50 all the way up to thousands of dollars. So if you are looking for a brooch to add to your collection or you're a reseller like myself, you really want to make sure you comp the exact brooch because there is such a wide variance on price that you might pay too much. So I'm going to show you some more. Again, we're going to start at 550 and this first brand has not been an either of the two videos that I have done already on brooches. It is one that I actually found a piece at my little local flea market. I'm very rural. It is not a big area. I found a set by this maker for $25 at the flea market, sold for over $300 and it sold really fast. So these brooches are out there. A lot of people are like, no, I can't find these in the wild. You can, they are just very rare to find, but you'll never find them if you don't know what to look for. So that is why I do these videos. So this first brand up is Florenza and this is a great set. This is a vintage Florenza signed iridescent necklace bracelet brooch earring set so it was the complete set to sell for this much this one sold for a best offer on a 550 dollars asking price here you can see that set up close beautiful beautiful stones i will tell you from having found one of these in the wild that these are very impressive they stand out the quality is absolutely amazing here is the back of that set and I did want to zoom in close here so you could see where it actually is stamped Florenza. Very, very easy to read and that was a great sale coming in close to $550. Up next is one by Christian LaCroix. Beautiful, beautiful piece. This one sold on auction for $560. This is an authentic vintage Christian La Christian LaCroix. It is a heart brooch. This one got 24 bids, sold for $560. Here up close, you can see the CL in the middle there for Christian LaCroix. Beautiful, beautiful heart brooch. And here on the back, you can see it is very, very clearly marked with the CL Christian LaCroix made in France and a great sale at $560 on auction. Up next is another auction and I will tell you that most of them in this video are on auction. I do not look up the starting bids because it would add a ton of time to these research videos but if you're watching this soon after I put it out you can go to eBay search for these items and click on the bids and see where they started it. So this next one is a gorgeous Vendome. This is a Vendome mid-century modern fish brooch. It was an auction, got 13 bids, sold for $570. Here you can see the brooch up close. Really, really cool with the CZs and the different colored eyes. And then here on the back you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but this one was clearly marked Vendome. Up next is a peacock brooch and this one is by Mazer. So animal brooches are seen quite often in these top dollar brooches and this one was a great sale. This is a 1940 Mazer Sterling Peacock. 
invisibly set sapphire emerald and rhinestone brooch sold for buy it now 575 dollars here you can see that peacock up close beautiful beautiful sterling peacock and on the back here you can see it is clearly marked sterling they did not unfortunately show a picture of the sign but it was stamped mazer up next is something I didn't really expect to come across in these videos and it's a lot of four brooches and they are actually hand carved wooden brooches that sold for a lot. This is vintage 1940s wooden brooches bird duck they did put women's jewelry this was an auction got 28 bids sold for five hundred and eighty dollars and one cent here you can see those birds up close i think i see a pheasant there there's a mallard i probably would have tried to identify the birds and put the names in but they still had an amazing sale here on the back you can see these are not marked by any maker they are simply carved wooden brooches with the pens glued on here is the back of one a little bit closer and here you can see the amazing detail and carved work on that and again great sale on auction 28 bids for 580 dollars up next is a tax co and some tax co can sell for big money just like this one did so again a lot of these names are gonna have lower dollar brooches so don't think if you find one by one of these makers you're instantly gonna have something worth hundreds or thousands of dollars that simply is not the case you really have to find the exact one you're looking at this is a layered fox brooch by tax co this is a vintage Los Ballesteros Taxco Mexico Sterling Silver Fox brocher pen. It did weigh 39 grams. It sold for a best offer of $600. Here you can see the close up of the fox. Really cool layered pieces. And then here on the back, you can see it's clearly marked 925. They do say HO in Mexico, which simply means made in Mexico. And then they have their tax go stamp. So again, great sale. Buy it now at around $600. All right, this next one is a brand that comes up in a lot of things. It comes up in clothing, it comes up in jewelry, and that is Yves Saint Laurent. This is a fabulous vintage French Yves Saint Laurent brooch, blue enamel, orange crystals, beautiful beautiful brooch it was a buy it now for 599 dollars great navy blue enamel on this with kind of orangish yellow stones so watch out for ebay saint laurent because it can be big money all right up next is joseph of hollywood and i actually have sold three brooches by joseph of hollywood mine sold for about 150 to 300 dollars mine were crabs holding faux pearls this this next one sold for 620 dollars let's take a look at it this is a joseph of hollywood huge four inch brooch pen so this is very very much a statement piece they did put purple glass and rhinestones this was a buy it now sold for 620 dollars and 10 cents here you can see that brooch up close this one as well as the ones that i found are made of brass and here on the back down on the bottom you can see that little circle and it just simply says joseph and script and that was a great sale at 620 dollars up next is a bakelite brooch if you have not watched my bakelite video i have a video on high dollar bakelite items and some of them will catch you off guard this small turtle made of bakelite sold for over 600 dollars this is a vintage carved tortoiseshell bakelite turtle perfume figural brooch or pen they did take a best offer on 629 dollars here you can see that turtle up close really really cool carved bakelite piece and i did want to show you here it does slide open and it has a little opening where you could put perfume or chapstick or something there in the middle 
And then here is the back of that brooch. You can see through some of that Bakelite there on the turtle's legs. And that was a great sale at $629. All right, up next, it is really, really funny because somebody actually contacted me and asked me if I wanted to get some jewelry from them. And one of them is actually one of the pieces in this set. So I do want to also point out to you, when you see sets together, they are worth quite a bit more than the individual pieces. And in this case, this is earrings as well as the brooch. And individually, they only sell for about $200 to $300. But together, they sold for over $600. This is a rare original by Robert Guitar from the Symphonic Jewels Collection. It is a brooch and earring set sold for $650. Here you can see the three pieces up close. Beautiful, beautiful work on this. And then here on the back, you can see if you look under the pen on the brooch, it does say originals by Robert. And that was a great sale at $650. So the funny thing is the only reason I knew this name is because I had researched the one somebody asked me about. I don't know if she wants me saying her name on here. I do intend on buying those brooches from her. So hopefully you will see one of those coming up in my What Sold videos soon. Up next is the first brooch I have ever seen and doing all of my research videos. I have this series from this month, as well as several others that I did last year. This one they say is haunted. This is an antique Victorian ghost haunted castle Art Nouveau brooch reverse glass painting. This one sold for $650. Here you can see up close, it does show a really, really cool picture of a castle. And on the back here, you can see this definitely was an older one. You can tell by that clasp and a great sale at $650. One that I did see the name popping up quite a bit and the ones over $500. So next week will be the last in this series and I will do a video on brooches that sell for under $550. And people ask me all the time to show them ones that they might find more often. The thing is with brooches, under like $150, $200, there are thousands and thousands of them. So it would be really hard to give you a lot of them. But I will do my best to show you some under $550 next week. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Turn on the notification so you get notified on that last brooch video. And I'm going to do another research series in March. So give me some ideas, whether it's in the jewelry category or something else. We will do another series on research in March, but I need to figure out what I'm going to do it on. So up next, this is Ray Ha. I got, I got off track a little bit there. This is a Ray Ha sterling silver brooch that sold for $675. This is a Ray Ha Vintage Sterling Color Faceted Glass Rhinestone Man from Mars Pinner Brooch sold for $675. Here you can see it up close. Beautiful, beautiful colors on this. And then here on the back, you can barely see it. It's actually inside that bottom leg. It does say Ray Ha Sterling. So you gotta look really careful on some of these brooches. Some of the signatures do not jump out at you and that was a great sale at $675. Up next is a Miriam Haskell, which we have seen her in the other videos because she has quite a few pieces that sell for good money. This one sold for a best offer on $699. This is a Miriam Haskell Ultra Rare Whimsical Butterfly on Flower Amazing Brooch and Earring Set. Took a best offer on $699. Here you can see these up close. Really, really pretty brooch. And it has a butterfly. It looks like on a sunflower. Matching silver earrings. And here on the back, I did want to show you again. That is a signed and stamped Miriam Haskell piece. 
This uh, next one is a micro mosaic. We saw one in one of the higher dollar ones. This one's kind of cool because it actually looks like it's inlaid into some lucite and it's it's really, really neat. This is a micro mosaic brooch, 14 karat gold floral pin, Italy antique. They did put Grand Tour. They accepted a best offer on $699. Here you can see that brooch up close in the hand. It actually looks like that plastic or lucite on the right side is chipped a little bit. And here you can see it up close on an angle. I really wanted to show you because it, again, it looks like it is inset into that lucite. And that is a really, really cool piece and a great sale at almost $700. All right, up next is a Norwegian brooch. I did not see where this one is signed, so I'm unsure how the, the seller identified it unless they had the provenance to go with it. But this was a great sale and it's a really, really neat brooch. This is a David Anderson sterling silver enamel Norway. They did put Norwegian. This one sold for $699. Here you can see it up close with that pheasant in the tree. And on the back here, you can see it is sterling silver. And it does not look like, again, there is a signature. So if anybody knows how to identify these David Anderson brooches, definitely let us know down in the comments. And a great sale at just shy of $700. Up next is a Steuben. If you are not familiar with Steuben, Steuben can sell for crazy amounts of money. I sold a Steuben strawberry pendant for $450. I picked up at a pawn shop of all places. So this next one is a Steuben brooch and it sold for great money as well. This is a Steuben glass teardrop brooch for Melissa. This was a heart. They listed it and sold for $750 by it now. They did not put more than one picture. So maybe it does say for Melissa. So maybe they already had made a deal with this buyer. And this is a great, great sale. It's a great brand to look out for. Unfortunately, they didn't post a picture, but typically Steuben does have a small S engraved somewhere on it. So that is something you can look for. And there are a lot of Steuben pieces that sell for good money. Up next is a beautiful Austro-Hungarian. Great brooch with beautiful amethyst stones. This one sold for almost $800. This is a large Austro-Hungarian amethyst ornate silver pin brooch antique sold for $795. Here you can see that brooch up close. Beautiful, beautiful purple and green stones. And here on the back, you can see this one simply says made in Hungary. Up next is a Coro. Again, Coros can sell for $10 and $15 up to thousands. This is a really, really cool pair of birds on a brooch. This is a vintage Coro Bird of Paradise Sterling Silver Duet Brooch or Fur Clip Rare Beauty. It was an auction, got 24 bids and sold for $790. Here you can see those birds up close. Beautiful, beautiful painting on those. And here on the back, you can see this is a sterling brooch and you can see it is clearly marked Coro and you can see those pointy pens that would make it a fur clip. Speaking of fur clips, this next one is a fur clip from Hobay. This is a vintage Hobay large dress fur clip, two and a, a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches, multicolored jewel. This one sold for a best offer at $795. Here you can see that fur clip up close. If you see amazing, amazing detail in this, and then here on the back, you can see the clip. And I do not see where this one is signed, Hobay, but they didn't put it was unsigned. And that was a great sale at almost $800. 
All right, up next is a beautiful Thunderbird Zuni inlaid pendant or brooch. If you do not know these inlaid Zuni pieces, keep an eye out for them. Most of them are inscribed by hand on the back and these can go for really, really big money. This one sold on auction 16 bids for over $800. This is a Native American Thunderbird pin or brooch Zuni sterling silver multi-stone inlay. It was an auction, got 16 bids, sold for $808.98. Here you can see that Thunderbird up close. Beautiful, beautiful inlay work on it. And here is the back of it. And it's actually signed on the bottom, but these are signed by hand and sometimes they're hard to see, but that was a great sale at over $800. All right, up next is a type of brooch that a lot of them sell for good money. So I definitely would watch out for these and that is Jelly Belly brooches. Traditionally, they are just a clear cabochon stone, but from what I have seen, a lot of people will call animal brooches with stones in the middle. If you can kind of see through them, they will still call them Jelly Belly, even though technically I do not think they are. This one definitely is, and it is a pig that sold for a lot. This is an important sterling Trafari Alfred Philippe Lucite Jelly Belly Pig. This one was an auction, got 39 bids, and sold for $810. Here you can see the pig up close, really, really big Jelly Belly stone there. And then here you can see it was clearly marked Trafari on the outer rim. And I did wanna show you here in the front of the snout, it does say Sterling. And that was a great sale at over $800. Up next is a beautiful poured glass brooch. We are, if you have not noticed, we are going higher and higher. This one was a Lily of the Valley. This is a vintage French brooch, Lily of the Valley, poured glass, made in France. It sold for $815. Here you can see it up close. Really, really cool green poured glass leaves and a great sale at $815. Up next is another beautiful Native American piece. This one is Navajo and Turquoise. Absolutely stunning piece. This is a Joanne Slifcut Navajo Sterling Silver Turquoise and Onyx. It does say gemstone converter brooch. And I think that means that it can go from the brooch to a pendant. This one sold for a best offer of $824.50. Here you can see it up close. Really, really cool onyx buffaloes there on the top. And then here on the back, you can see very, very clearly stamped J. Slifka designs, sterling, and a great sale at $824. Up next is a Tiffany & Co. I didn't put a ton of Tiffany & Co. in these videos, but <laughs> there were a lot of them out there. And I didn't put them because most people know that Tiffany is money. So finding these for a good price is not going to be easy, though I have, I have found some Tiffany brooches. This next one is a leaf that sold for over $800. This is a vintage Tiffany & Co. 18 karat gold maple leaf brooch. It was 13 grams, made in Italy. It was an auction, got 33 bids, sold for $837. Here you can see that brooch up close. Beautiful, beautiful brushed gold. And on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Tiffany 18 karat, made in Italy, and great sale at $837. Up next is a brand that I have not seen. That is Butler and Wilson. And this one was an Indian chief brooch. This is a Butler and Wilson vintage crystal, colorful rhinestone Indian chief brooch or pen. They did accept a best offer on a buy it now of $850. Here you can see that up close gorgeous gorgeous rhinestones and I did want to zoom in here on the back and show you it is clearly marked Butler and Wilson a brand I have not heard of but a great sale at $850 all 
All right, this next one is interesting, and that is because they were not sure who the maker was. So they put that it was either a Shriner or a Weiss, and it's still, it's still sold for over $800. This says possible unsigned Shriner or Weiss green rhinestone stacked brooch. This one sold for $850. Here you can see it up close. Beautiful, beautiful layered brooch. And then on the back, you can see this one was not marked and still sold for $850, even though they did not know exactly who the maker was. Next is a mini painting. I told you in uh, the last brooch video, I tell people all the time because mini paintings can sell for big money, especially on brooches. This is an antique brooch or pendant. Venice Mother of Pearl painted satin pinchback. They did accept a best offer of $850. This one you can see here up close, it is a beautiful, beautiful mini painting, a setting of Venice. And on the back, you can see this one was a brooch as well as a pendant, and it was painted on Mother of Pearl. Up next is a squirrel, a little squirrel brooch. This one was Coro Craft and sold for almost $900. This is a Coro Craft Squirrel brooch. Vintage is another Jelly Belly. This one did have flaws. Still sold for $899. Here you can see the squirrel up close. You can see the tail. So it really was a jelly tail. It wasn't a jelly belly, but they still used it in the title. Here on the back, you can see it is clearly signed Coro Craft and Sterling and a great sale at almost $900. Up next is another French brooch. This one was just signed Made in France and it sold for almost $900. So watch out for those brooches that are marked France. We also saw the Hungary one. Watch out for brooches that are made in other countries because they can be big money just like this one. This is a vintage enormous Art Deco Jade Cluster CZ brooch pen and pearls signed France. It was an auction, got six bids, sold for $890. Here you can see that brooch up close. Beautiful, beautiful jade stones. And here on the back, you can see it is simply stamped France there under the pen and a great sale at almost $900. This next one I think might be one of my favorites. This is a kitty cat drinking out of a bowl. It is by Anthony Aquilino. It is a sterling brooch and it sold for over $900. This is a rare vintage Anthony Aquilino sterling cat fishing in the Jelly Belly fish bowl. So there's your Jelly Belly again. This was an auction, got nine bids. Sold for $920. Here you can see that kitty cat with his paw inside of the fishbowl and sterling. Beautiful, beautiful brooch. And here is the back of this brooch. I do not see where the signature is on this one, but I do believe it was signed. And that was a great sale at $920. Up and next, as we are getting closer to that thousand dollar mark, we have we have a beautiful Hobay green heart brooch. This is a vintage Hobay 1940s wirework heart. Was an auction, got 36 bids, sold for $960. Here you can see that brooch up close. Beautiful, beautiful green rhinestones and wire work. And here is the back of that brooch. This one I do not see signed Hobe, so they might have identified it another way. But a great sale, a lot of bids, 36 bids for $960. All right, up next are the top five items and we are going to start off with a wider pilot badge this is a j simpler imperial austro hungarian world war one pilot badge this was made in Austria. This one sold for almost $1,000, $990. Here you can see that badge up close. 
beautiful beautiful detail on that and then here on the back you can see it clearly says j zimbler we n v i i and that was a great sale at 990 dollars all right up next is the only lot that i put in this video and i put it in there so i could just talk to you for a minute and say if you find a ton of vintage brooches you're not sure of their price you don't want to individually research all of them you can do just like this seller did lot them up and you still could make a lot these sold for almost a thousand dollars this is a vintage flower pin brooch lot of 80 it was an auction got 51 bids selling for 990 dollars here you can see these flower brooches up close really really cool enamel brooches it looks like hand painted very very colorful and a great sale at 990 dollars up next is a poodle again animal brooches are all over the high dollar and valuable brooches. This one is another Jelly Belly. This is a rare Trafari Alfred Felipe 1942 design Lucite Jelly Belly Poodle brooch sold for $1,000. Here you can see it up close. Again, that really big clear Lucite cabochon for the belly and a great sale at $1,000. All right, we have got two more left. This next one is not somebody I'm familiar with. It is another French designer that sold for almost $1,000. This is a leaf brooch by French designer Cis Zoltawaska for Bonwit Teller original tag. Super cool that it has the original tag. Sold for $1,000. So here you can see that brooch up close as well as that original tag attached. And then here on the back, you can see it is layered. I don't know that this one was marked, but they do have that original tag that says made in France exclusively for Bonwit Teller and a great sale at $1,000. All right, we are up to our last one, and these last few have all been right at that $1,000 price point. This one is as well. This is a cameo, but it's not a traditional cameo. So if you see different cameos, pay attention. This next one is a cameo of a man that sold for almost $1,000. This is an antique French fine cameo gold 18 carat 750 brooch. If you do not know, 750 marking does indicate something is 18 karat gold and a lot of people do not know that. This old man portrait or sculpture sold for $9.97.50. Here you can see it up close. It was engraved. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And then here is the back of that. Very, very simplistic brooch and a great sale at almost $1,000. All right, that is everything for this one. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me. I really appreciate you watching. I have so much fun doing these research videos and I really do learn a lot. I hope you do as well. Again, subscribe if you're not, share with your friends. Come check me out on Whatnot. I sell jewelry over on Whatnot. Not, not anything like this because it's hard to find this stuff for a good price. I sell mostly gemstone and we will have some amazing sterling silver shows coming out later this week. I also have been doing for Dalton soccer, my four-year-old if you're not aware, there were quite a few kids that were unable to afford the fees for tuition. They also need new goals and things like that. So any coffees or super chat or super thanks that are sent to me from now until the end of February, I have until the 28th, we actually have raised a thousand dollars so we have enough for a team scholarship. That is with myself putting in 500 we also have gotten $500 raised over on Whatnot. So you can come over to Whatnot. We have support soccer stickers. It's actually just the Nurse Flipper sticker, but you're helping to support soccer. 
or if you send me a coffee just put a note in there that you would like it to be for soccer i'm trying to get to twenty five hundred dollars to be able to support the whole league and help them get the equipment they need so i will put my buy me a coffee down in the comments if you would like to help support soccer i will be mentioning this until the end of february because i would like to help the kids as much as i can i appreciate you hanging out with me i'm gonna let you go and we can go watch the super bowl bye for now Oh, the one. I know they got that one. Hurry. Hey, hey, hey. Woo!